Hey friends, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of a beautiful, magical mansion. This six bedroom vacation home has some of the most impressive theming I have ever seen. They have a Toy Story themed bedroom, a gigantic Super Mario themed area, an Alice in Wonderland bedroom, and so many more immersive, amazing themed things. And I cannot wait to show you. Anywho's, let's go do this. You guys know I love showing really cool, unique themed Airbnbs, and this one is just as cool as a lot of the other ones I showed you, like the Harry Potter and the Star Wars themed house, and I love it. And if you guys want any more information, even how to rent this or stay here, I'll put all of the links in the description so you can check it out. It has been just about two years since I started showing you guys a lot of really cool themed houses and Airbnbs and we have seen so many incredible ones. I probably have like 20 videos worth of just themed Airbnbs and houses and whenever I see something where I'm like, okay, now that is cool, that's when I'm like, oh wow, I really want to make a video there. And this one has so many cool different aspects of it. There's not like one like kind of like theme, it's just everything and I love it. We are gonna head right on in so I can give you guys the grand tour and I love all the different murals they have on the walls. As soon as you walk in, you get a little bit of Dumbo, a little Mickey, a little Donald, Pooh Bear, and every single home always has like a cool name. And this name for this house is the Magic Mansion and uh, a little greeting from Cinderella Castle along with some uh, rules and information like Wi-Fi and all the different things that you would need to actually stay here. I love how they have a big mural that just says, Welcome to the Magic Mansion. And you guys know, I love Disney, I love Universal. So like this actually incorporates a lot of those things and also just movies in general. And uh, we'll start on the first floor and then we're gonna head straight upstairs and then to the Pandora themed theater. Yep, a Pandora like Avatar in Animal Kingdom themed movie theater. Right underneath the Welcome to the Magic Mansion mural, they have a nice little Cinderella book where you can sign in. We've got Chip, and then we've got a glass slipper and a rose, and here is the living room area. The living room area basically is just themed for like the murals that are on the walls. They do have one really cool prop that I can't wait to show you you'll see a lot of the rooms have special effects and special lighting but right here in the living room they have a really cool welcoming thing that i really really do like i'm sure there's a lot of frozen fans out there and take a look at this right in the corner i love it and it actually does something really fancy when you flip the switch so we'll see what goes on here oh olaf Ooh, the lighting too that is really cool. Olaf's waving at you. I like it. I love when you have a good variety of different theming in vacation houses because a lot of people, when they think about building one of these like special and unique houses, they don't want to kind of target it to just one audience. So they want to kind of make it so that there's something for everybody and like a room that everybody would like to stay in. And this house really does a good job at that. Obviously, I'm pretty sold on anything Mickey Mouse, and if Frozen isn't your thing, then wait till you see the Mickey Mouse themed pool table. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Isn't this crazy? I really love it. Like, I am mind blown by this. I would love to have this in my house. Like, <laughs> this is so cool. Look at the lighting, the gigantic Mickey up there. This is too good. It might be a little echoey, especially in this room. Can you hear it? Hey, 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 ooh. Oh my Lord, look at Gus Gus. I just caught him stealing a cookie out of the pantry. That is so cool. I'm not even sure what's in here. Just probably storage. Oh, some extra pool balls. But Gus Gus with a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, makes me want to get some cookies later. Honestly, I would just love to have the gigantic Mickey light above the pool table. That is one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen in one of these like Airbnbs or just in general. Seriously, 
How cool is that? And of course you have Cinderella Castle, and you got Mickey, and you got Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, Donald, Daisy, and doesn't it look like Mickey and Minnie are kind of playing pool right here at this angle? Doesn't it look like they're playing pool? I can't leave this room without breaking that table. Like I can't, I have to do it. Okay, now that the pool business is taken care of, I think we're gonna head to Super Mario World. Yep, I said Super Mario World. Like I said in the beginning, there's not like a central theming here, it's all just magical. So we went from a frozen greeting, to a Mickey billiard room, to heading upstairs where we're gonna be going in Super Mario World. And like, legit, we're going to Super Mario World. Look at this. Look at this stairway. Oh, I love it so much and it gets better. I've seen the photos already and I am so excited. Luigi, Yoshi, oh, this is too awesome. Holy moly, I am so excited. <laughs> Donkey Kong, this is great. Oh, okay, <laughs> I might be geeking out a little bit. Mario Kart, oh boy. Bananas! <laughs> this is like my childhood right here. Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Super Mario World. Like, this is crazy. It only gets better. Wait till I show you down this hallway here. Look at this. The pipes. This is so cool. Like, honestly, I love it. I am so obsessed with this house. Bowser? Bowser in the corner? What? Oh my lord. This is too good. Look at the look at the pipes. They're all lit up green. This is really, really so cool. I love it. Oh man. I want this in my house. I want my house. Peach? Ooh. <laughs> okay, I think I have geeked out enough. But this is just like a common space, uh, kind of like a game room because they have two different TVs facing diff two different pipelines and a nice little couch. And now we're gonna look at some of the really cool themed bedrooms, but I'm all about Super Mario World. Like this was, this is so cool. Let me know in the comments what your favorite section of the house is. I know we still have a lot to look at, but I'm really loving Super Mario World. But I can't get over the Mickey Billiard Room, because that was really cool. And the murals and artwork is phenomenal. Like, whoever was the artist that worked on these, they did a, an amazing job. Seriously, kudos to them. Like I said before, a lot of the rooms and areas have special effects. This being the green lighting around the pipes. And uh, when we're going into our next room here, there is definitely going to be a special effect. I've already been told. So a lot of this stuff, it's my first time seeing it. And you're just kind of watching it. Like I look up and I see pictures and stuff like that. But to be here, it's a little bit different. So I always like sharing that with you. I think there's five bedrooms on the second floor. I think there's five bedrooms. So we're going to head in this one right here. Oh, I already know what this one is. Look at this. Holy moly. Look at Woody. This is Andy's room. But like what? Like seriously, what? This is such a cool room. Woody, Bullseye, a Buzz Lightyear bed. Like, Buzz? Buzz? Can you imagine just sleeping on this bed and then looking up at Buzz Lightyear all night long? And I found, like, the special effects. It has, like, a nice little green light. And also, there's a push me or try me button on his uh, galactic space suit. So we definitely have to push it. And most of these things are controlled by the light switches. So you'll see it's, like, ceiling fan or ceiling light and then buzz. So I turn the buzz on. And that's when the light's turned on, but I want to see what it says when it says, it says, try me. So we're going to press it. To infinity and beyond. I love it. We're going to do it again. Do it again. One more time. Oh. To infinity and beyond. I also like how they incorporate all the other toys in the room, too. You know what I mean? You got potato head. You got ham. And you even have a little buzz over here. He's just sitting, and you can play with him, you know? Buzz Lightyear, at your service. Thank you. 
I'm pretty sure when I looked at the listing, it said six bedrooms, six bathrooms. So it does have a bathroom, but it, it's not really themed to anything. It's just a regular bathroom. So I don't know if it's worth showing you. And I don't know, like being inside this Toy Story themed room is making me really like wonder like which one is my favorite because they're all pretty amazing, but we still got a couple more to go to. So I'll let you know at the end of the video, which one I think is the best or my favorite themed area of the house. It's kind of cool how you can go from like Toy Story to Super Mario. <laughs> Toy Story, Super Mario. And we're going to make our way down here. And this is a, another room here. Let's see. Holy moly. I think we found Star Wars. This is an impressive looking bed right here. Like, <laughs> I like it. I've seen beds like this before and they're so nifty and cool. And if I was a kid, I would love to stay here. It's a bunk bed. Like I would absolutely love sleeping in something like this. The blue lights might be playing a little bit with the camera, so I'll do my best. And I'm not too sure if it has any other special features on here. I mean, other than <laughs> this amazing ad ad bed. And I think we're going to see if they, oh yeah, you can go up inside there. So I'm sure you can control something up there. And you get a little Stormtrooper helmet. Things have just got a little bit more interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> and he can aim? Holy moly, no way. That's pretty impressive. Like... Honestly, but can you imagine the debate? I mean, I always like the top bunk, but can you imagine if there was kids split in this room? Like who would have to be on the bottom bunk and who would be in the top bunk getting to play with all of the different blasters? They would definitely have to rotate. You know what I mean? Unless it's a you know, single child or an only child, then he gets to just go up and down, but I would never sleep on the bottom. Not when he had all that up top. I mean, honestly, the bottom's like, you know, it's okay, but that, come on. And then all of the different blasters? You can't, you can't beat it. I know that we have an Alice in Wonderland themed bedroom here, but there's also adult bedrooms. So we'll check out some of the adult bedrooms and then to the Alice in Wonderland and then to, like I said, the Avatar Pandora movie theater. Right across the hallway from the Star Wars room, I think this one is one of the regular adult rooms. And like, they're kind of themed, they're just very like, you know, very nice, you know, I like it. This one, oh, Mickey and Minnie, yeah. This is, oh, this must be the uh, the big room. This is the big bedroom, it's got its own bathroom and everything. Look at this, holy moly, oh, we got a little Mickey and Minnie behind us. I like it, it's very, very nice. This is a large room, like, wow. Huge bathroom, jacuzzi tub. Oh, this is nice. When I say adult room, I mean alternative offerings for people who don't want to have a gigantic Buzz Lightyear above their bed or, you know, want to have a Star Wars battle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's other alternative offerings, a little bit for everybody. Me, personally, I would probably be definitely sleeping in one of the Star Wars or the Alice in Wonderland uh, room that we're going to show you in a second. Those are the rooms I like, kid or not. Let's make our way back out onto the Rainbow Road and find the other bedrooms here. I love how big it is in here. Like, you can just walk around. Maybe because I'm just used to being in my small apartment. But <laughs> I forget what it's like to actually walk across a room, you know? And uh, here's another one down here. This one might be the Alice in Wonderland one, I think. Oh, yep. I think that is exactly what it is. Wow. This is nifty, holy moly. This way, wrong way, down the rabbit hole. I like this a lot, this is cool. Now it's getting interesting because I was trying to figure out what like the special effect of the room is and it's 3D. There's 3D glasses on the beds and it's 3D, there's a black light. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it to you. I don't know if it's gonna be able to come out on camera but I'm gonna try and that is so cool. 
I also love all of the craftsmanship here too. Like I'm trying to take a step back to show you this room in a whole because it's so hard to show you in such a tiny frame, but it's so massive. And there's two different bunk beds in here. So when we go under, uh, that's where I saw the little 3D glasses. They have another bunk bed over here. And I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you guys. Like I'm gonna have to try to put these on the camera maybe and then turn the black lights on. I don't think you're going to be able to see it that good. I got the 3D glasses over the camera lens, but it really doesn't pick up like you would. And plus, it's still light outside, but it is pretty magical. I like it. This is a cool little thing, and it's the first I've ever seen in any of these Airbnbs or themed houses. So, nice way to be creative. Regardless of being able to see the 3D artwork or not, I have to really applaud the artists. Like, the artwork in here is so cool. They did such a great job. And also, most of this stuff is custom-built beds. It's not like something you can buy. You know what I mean? So that's like another, like, another level of theming is just getting custom things. And I like it. At least if you're sleeping in the bottom bunk over here, you can have a little mad tea party. And I also like how all the bedspreads match. I've seen that with Star Wars and the Toy Story room. That's really cool as well. Alright, there's one more room over here and then we'll head back downstairs. And this is just another kind of regular room. But I did take a peek see in and they have Goofy and Pluto on the mural. Isn't that nice? And this one has its own bathroom as well. But just, you know, simple. Like it. Simple. Little goofy, little Pluto. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let's head back downstairs now. And I'm going to show you guys the Pandora movie theater. And uh, see what else we got going on there. But if this was my house, I would just be so happy every time I walked down this stairway. I would just be smiling. I'm smiling right now. It is so cool. Like, oh! Look it, I didn't even see these guys over here. Because when we came up, they were on the opposite side. But that's really awesome. I like it. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have caught on. I like to say I'm excited and I like it. And this is great. I say the same things over and over again. There's actually a fancy count, probably in the comment section of this video, that likes to add up all of my f like fun little sayings. I like it. Nifty. Anywho's. <laughs> also, I didn't point out before, but... We have the rescue rangers over in the corner here. That's really nifty. And there's a whole pool outside. Like they have a whole pool. Most of these houses all have a pool, but I think that's really cool. Not much theming going on there, just a pool and nice little deck area. I like it. But over here, this is where the Pandora movie theater is. Right behind this door. We're gonna transport into another magical place. The laundry room. <laughs> oh, oh, nope. there it is, Avatar. All right, here it is. Now we're gonna head in. Oh boy. <laughs> the blue lights might really mess with it, but this is really cool. I like it a lot. It's just like Navi River Journey. I think I have to turn on the lights to give you guys a better look of everything. I don't know how to do a regular light. Oh, that changes everything, doesn't it? <laughs> look at all of the detail. It's really cool with the black lights on, but they have floating mountains behind the arcade games here. I love that. That's a really cool touch right there. And everything's controlled by lights. You know what I mean? So like if you want to turn on all the arcade games, you just bada bing, bada boom, put that right on. And this is the regular lights, the black lights on and off. Whoop. So it's very easy, very user friendly. And it's got nice theater seating. Ooh, how'd you get here? Yeah, a little Woody in here. <laughs> Must be following me around. Got nice bean bags, some foosball. I think this was a garage. Like, that's so cool. The things you can do with a garage, you know? That is really a cool movie theater. I do like it, but it's not as cool as the Harry Potter movie theater. The one that's in the Harry Potter house, that one was great because it was a forbidden forest and nothing probably will ever top that. 
while we're down here on the first floor there was another room i think over here that i didn't get to show you guys and this is donald and daisy kind of like the other rooms well wait a second i'm starting to see a pattern here so the three rooms so they have three rooms that are like really themed and then three other rooms that are just mickey minnie donald daisy goofy and pluto that's really cool i like that they did that well, this has been fun. I really like showing you guys all the different themed rooms and the themed Airbnbs and houses. And for me, my favorite probably is the Mickey Billiard Room. Like, that is just too cool for me. I love pool and I love Mickey, so put those together and it's, it's amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thought about it since uh, we seen Gus Gus eating some cookies. Instead of ending the video, I thought it'd be fun because today is new cookie week at Crumble Cookies. So I thought it'd be funny to maybe go get some cookies, bring you guys along with me, and show you guys the new Crumble Cookie flavors of the week. I think it'd be fun. So we're gonna leave now, and if you guys want more information about this house, like I said, I'll put it all in the description so you can check it out. And yeah, I mean, it is really cool. Before we leave though, we have to say goodbye to Olaf. Bye friend. So sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure on the listing it said that this can sleep up to 16 guests. So 16 people in here and it was going for like $600 a night. $600 a night! Like that is huge, especially when you consider that some of Disney resorts are $2,000 a night and this sleeps up to 16 people so it's kind of worth it. And just like that we have made it to crumble cookies and I love coming here because they have brand new cookies every single week so taste weekly and they usually have like four brand new cookies and some of them are always hot so they serve hot cookies every single hour of the day a lot of people always ask me if I prefer Gideon's cookies over crumble cookies and honestly it all depends on the cookie of the week or the cookies of the week because Gideon's has a core selection of cookies that you can go and get anytime you want. Do you know what I mean? They're always going to be there and they only have one cookie of the month but here at crumble cookies they have six cookies and four of them are weekly cookies so if the weekly cookies aren't good then you're not getting any good cookies. You know what I mean? They have like their original chocolate chip, but it's not the best. And it really does depend on the cookies of the week. Today, we're definitely gonna get the four newest weekly cookies. And it all like it, like I said, it all depends on the week. And this week, the lineup looks pretty good. Cookie lovers enter here and it smells amazing in here. And they bake the cookies right on premises. You can order right here on the little tablet and you can get a four pack box for $13 or a single cookie or a six pack. So we're gonna get the four pack box and I'm gonna show you what the cookies look like because they do have them on display. But uh, we're gonna do all of the uh, new cookies. So we're gonna do cookies and cream, carrot cake, lemon bar, and the peanut butter muddy. There we go. How does this look? That looks good. But here are the cookies this week. And like I said, they always have some of them on hand regularly, like the chocolate chip and the classic sugar. But they have cookies and cream. They have peanut butter featuring Muddy Buddies, carrot cake and lemon bar. And these three are served warm and the lemon bar is served chilled. And I'm excited. I'm excited for the cookies and cream one though because that looks phenomenal. We've got the package. Excellent. Just what we needed. Look at the box. Isn't it so cool? I'm going to try a bite of each of them and then I keep them in the fridge for the rest of the week and you get to nibble at them. But look at this. Oh, you have to try them like fresh though because like I said, all three of these are hot and this one is chilled, but there's nothing better than a hot cookie. There's nothing better than that. Like I said, I'm probably most excited to try the cookies and cream one. Oh man. Oh. I just picked it up, it looks so good and so soft. So this is the one we're gonna try first. And I don't even know, should we just like break it in half? But here we go. There's white chocolate, oh boy. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. That is such a great cookie. Definitely a little bit messy with the white chocolate on top there. But just think of a soft, like, 
Oreo cookie, but not Oreo, because it's like a regular cookie batter just with Oreo pieces in there, and it's so good, so amazing. Now I think we're gonna jump to the carrot cake because I love carrot cake. And, oh, I got a little lemon on me. This one is another hot cookie, and it's got cream cheese icing and pecan garnishing on top. But it looks amazing, look at this. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> here we go, first bite. This cookie is another home run. I love the icing. I like how it just falls apart. Like, look at that. The icing is fantastic. And like I said, it's cream cheese icing, and I love it. <laughs> now let's try the lemon bar. And this one's a cold cookie, but look at this. I'm gonna break it in half anyway. Oh. I'm usually not the biggest fan of the chilled cookies, but this one is like almost drinking like a lemonade. It is so refreshing and cold. I like it. And the lemon filling on top there, wow. This is, this is a, like these cookies, the, the cookies of the week today or this week are definitely outstanding. Last but not least, the peanut butter muddy butters. Look at these. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, oh, I lost it. I lost a good part of it, but here it is. Now you know why they're called crumble cookies, because when he picked them out, they just fall apart. Honestly, look at that. But this is another one. Oh, wow. I love it. And I'm going to be snacking on these for like the rest of the week. Overall, my favorite definitely has to be the lemon, then the Oreo, then the carrot cake, and then probably the peanut butter one. Even though I do love them all, I feel like on another given week, these would be top number ones too. You know what I mean? It's just this week, they're all paired together. And with that, I think we are done here today. A little fun adventure. We came, checked out a really awesome house, then we got some crumble cookies, and I got to show you all of the different new flavors of the week, and I love it. I think it's so fun. I, I kind of get excited to look forward to new things weekly and monthly. You know what I mean? Now adding on these, I feel like I'm like between Gideon's and here, I'm like, ah, but it's awesome. I'm like in cookie heaven. Cookie Monster would love it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and make sure you guys let me know what your favorite part of the house was because I really always love asking that question and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!